Stars begin in a nebula, made up of clouds of dust and gases. Gravity gathers huge clouds of hydrogen gas and particles of dust, which is then pressurised and grows more condensed due to the force of gravity. Squeezed tighter, the hydrogen heats up to a point of a nuclear fusion, turning hydrogen to helium, and the fire ignites. Now a protostar is born, then a great tug of war begins. There you get the balance of the gravity pulling in and the gas pressure pushing back out. From this stage, there are two ways a star can evolve. If gravity wins, the star condenses further, forming into a cool red dwarf, where they burn the hydrogen fuel very slowly. Red dwarfs are smaller than the sun and can extend their lives to tens of billions of years for they carefully use up their fuel. Eventually a red dwarf will change into a hotter, but smaller dim white dwarf, which nuclear fire has gone out. Over time, the white dwarf cools and quietly burns out, producing a cold, death black dwarf. But if the gas pressure wins, instead of going smaller, they grow larger. The star expands, forming a supergiant. These giant stars live hot and die young. They consume their fuel much faster than any other small mass stars as they can burn through the fuel in just millions of years. But they don't go out quietly, they instead come to a really violent end. They expand to an incredible size, seeking more fuel, to the point where they eventually collapse into themselves, causing a massive explosion called a supernova. From that point, if the star wasn't destroyed, one of the two paths can be formed. If the star was heavy enough, a super compressed neutron star could be the result. Or after a supernova, the star could have become so dense that a black hole occurs, which has an extraordinary amount of gravitational pull. It sucks in all the matter that once made up the star. So the next time you look deep into the depths of space, remember that these bright twinkling lights are actually the same as us. They are born, they live, they die.